Hey everyone and welcome to another video and in this video we are going to move from what we had in the last episode to what we're going to have by the end of this one. I'm going to add this plus button at the top of our challenger screen and when the user taps on it we're going to bring up this create challenge screen and we're going to be able to create a challenge and then it will appear in our challenge list here. So let's go ahead and get started and the first thing we are going to do is come to our challenge list view here and we're going to add our plus icon. So scroll down to where we've got the navigation title in our main content view here and on the scroll view we're going to type dot navigation bar items trailing and then in our trailing we're going to have a button and this button is going to be action and label like this and our action is going to have a view model dot send action and we're going to create a create action there just comment that out for now and the label is going to be our image so this will be an image with the system name of plus dot circle and we want to say dot image scale dot large and that will just give it a bit of extra size and we can tidy this up a bit uh, with some new syntax here we can remove this action argument and we can just have multiple trailing closures here and remove the last bracket there and that looks good so we're going to run this and see if we've managed to add our circle so there we go it's at the top now and what we want to do is make sure that we send an action to the view model here when they tap that. So let's head over to our challenge list view model and we can add an action to our enum called create and then we're going to come to our send action function and we're going to add our create. And what do we actually want to do here? Well when they tap here we want to present the modal with our create view. So what we're going to have is a property at published var uh, showing modal or showing create modal so it's a false and then when they tap here we're just going to set this to true and if we come back we can now build again and this should uh, compile and what we're going to do is add a sheet so come above your navigation bar items and type dot sheet is presented is going to be dollar view model dot showing create modal and this will create that binding and then the content of our sheet is going to be a create view and if we run this now this should trigger when we tap our plus circle which it does and the reason this is blue is because when we use this in our onboarding flow we set the accent color on the navigation view so we need to now go into our create view and actually make sure this takes the primary color so it will be white here so we want to do this regardless of whether it's in a navigation view or not so we can come to the create here in our create view and we can say foreground color it's going to be dot primary. And then in our actual challenge list view, when we show this create view, we're going to wrap this in a navigation view so it will get the title create like this. And rerunning that, you can see what effect this has. So we present our Moodle, and this is now the right color, and it has a navigation title here. So what we can do now is actually see if our observing is working. So we'll create a challenge here. Let's change all these up. Let's make this 5 and 14 days. And we'll click create. And this didn't dismiss. But if we dismiss it ourselves, we can see that our challenge has been created here. So that bit works. So if we come to our challenge list view model, and where we receive our challenges, we're also going to set our showing create modal to false. And now if we reload and run it, this modal will collapse 
once we add this challenge. So let's add clit ops, tap create, and there you go. So that looks good. And one thing I wanted to mention is in our create view model, create challenge view model, we initially in our onboarding flow call this current user ID to pass it into our create challenge. This is the very first time. So the logic is that we check to see whether Firebase has a user for the person who's using this app. And if it does, then we just pass back that user ID and continue on. But if we don't, then we know that they've never used the app before. So we'll sign them in anonymously. Now, in the case of the challenge list view here, we don't want to be signing anyone in anonymously because they're already done that and this will create a new user ID for them. So digging through the Firebase documentation, it seems as though sessions don't expire and they only will expire if you have like a major event, like a user deletion or a user being disabled or they change their display name. So I think this is pretty safe to leave here because this should technically always be true when they are using it on the challenge list view. The other thing is that they would have to be clicking the or tapping the create challenge uh, button whilst their session is expiring. Because remember that we have some logic in our app that will switch them to the landing view as soon as they are logged out. So I think it's pretty safe to leave this, but feel free to add some logic in here to check whether uh, they're in the onboarding flow or not. I'm not going to, but it's up to you. So the last thing I'm going to do in this episode is create a new group. And we're just going to tidy up these views because there's quite a few of them now. So just create a new group called views. And we're going to drag over all of our views, like so, into our new group. And we can do the rest as well. Let's, uh, let's create a group for extensions. We might have some more extensions and I think primary button style can go under views. I mean, maybe there should be a sub group here for styles, but I think that's fine for now. And error can go under errors, I guess. We probably won't have any more of these, but it just makes it a bit tidier. And I think that's pretty good. So we've come quite a long way, but there's still plenty to do. So I will see you in the next one. And if you like this, please subscribe if you haven't already or give the video a like. It really helps out and I'll see you for the next one.